Stop the car! We need to, Let me we out! Need to... That's definitely me when I see a good sushi place on the side of the road. Welcome back to Things You Missed. Today we're looking at the trailer for the zombie film Cargo. It's based off a 2013 short film of the same name, and the two directors of the short are back to handle the feature. I love to see that, so let's check out some Things You Missed. If you haven't seen the short, it's pretty simple. Dad wakes up in a car crash, mom is a zombie, daughter is perfectly fine. The dad then realizes he's been bit and devises a contraption to keep his daughter safe until someone can find them. Obviously you can't make a full feature off of that, so I'm gonna be talking about what was added and what was changed as well. Based on these opening shots, it seems that the couple is living on a houseboat, which when it comes to a zombie apocalypse is a good idea for safety but isn't really sustainable because you will run out of food and have to go back on land to get more. And I'm guessing that's what happens here because a satellite dish wouldn't work on a boat, so they must be on land when something gets on to their boat. My guess is whatever happened to these guys happens to the mom. Something gets on the boat and gets her infected. They must decide to take to the land to go find help before her 48 hours are up, and that sets the stage for where the original short film begins with the car crash. But before we go on from there, there's one thing you might have looked past, which is all these soldiers with their heads buried in the ground. That tells me a couple things. First, that we're a little bit further into this apocalypse because the army had already fought and presumably lost. The short seems to take place right at the start of the apocalypse, given that he put his daughter in the backpack for some humans to find them, so it's gotta be mostly still humans at this point. Second thing that this shot tells me is that the only dead people we see in the trailer who aren't walking around as zombies have their heads buried like this. So maybe this is some kind of trap set by humans, like maybe there's some yummy meat down there and zombies get stuck like that until someone comes along and kills them off. I know if someone put some fancy tuna in a hole, I'd be climbing down there to go get it. Let me know what your thoughts on the buried heads are in the comments though. Next, I want to look at the zombies themselves. We see that their eyes are glazed over and they have this yellow green mold over their skin. If I had to guess, I'd say that points to this being a viral infection. This is the point where the dad realizes that he's going to be infected too and has to find someone to care for Rosie. So he sets off on foot and comes across a village that seems to have electricity thanks to these solar powered lights. There's a quick shot here of this balloon. In the short, he ties a balloon to himself to increase his visibility and entertain the baby. So this could be a little reference to that. I think the tribal kid he meets is an aboriginal Australian native. So this picture of the rival from Pokemon Silver, a Rick and Morty character named Willy and Jeffrey Tambor, might actually be the family, with the kid, the dad, and this might be the shaman of their village who could be significant if he possesses some kind of healing remedy. This kid is not present in the short film and looks to be a major part of this feature. My guess is that this kid is introduced into the plot as kind of a gauge for the main guy's character development. When they first meet, the kid's father has already turned, and the main character's advice is to let go. That wasn't your dad anymore. But I think he's the one who's gonna have to learn how hard it is to let go of a loved one, even if it's for the best. And this will be his main obstacle in the movie. The film's title, Cargo, has not changed from the short film, but I do think it takes on a second meaning here. Originally, the baby, Rosie, is the cargo. He's trying to transport her to safety. And that's still true, but I also noticed that the survivor camp they come across is filled with these cargo storage units. I'm guessing that they sleep in these things for protection at night. So not only is the baby the cargo, but everyone in that survivor camp is considered cargo. And my last thing you missed for this trailer is something I'd like to open a discussion about in the comments. The aboriginal kid's dad has this G symbol on his clothing, and the sniper later on at the survivor camp has the same symbol on his hat. So what do you think the meaning is behind that? Is there some kind of connection between these characters? If you're looking forward to seeing where they take this movie, give this video a like. I think the next things you missed I'm gonna do is A Quiet Place, so make sure you subscribe and ring the death bell for notifications so you don't miss that, and I'll see you in the next one, assuming we both survive.